Hey guys, it is Saturday, June, June, August 1st, 2020. And these are my tat top tips that I'm kind of making in real time as I sort of experience different conditions. I'm currently in Idaho, riding across these prairies, these grasslands. And I have to say that the gravel, hmm, it was sketchy, right? I don't know whether it's either the type of stone they're using, it does seem to be rounder. I'm looking at the road here. It's more like uh, river pebbles, but uh, either that or because it's so dry, maybe because of the, um, I don't know. Anyway, the depth of it, the bike was moving around. So I was thinking maybe this is a good opportunity just to help guys who are experiencing or will experience this. Now I'm using a KTM 790R. So what do I do? I I already have the preload on the back softened up to five clicks rather than the 10 that I would do on the road. So the back's nice and low, makes the fork stretch out, definitely helps. Even so, the bike is squirreling around. So I've got a steering damper. I've, I'm not, I haven't got that cranked up to 11, right? I'm, I've, I don't like the fact that when the damper is just too rigid, it could potentially cause problems. So the damper is, you know, it's it's a, it's effective but not not super aggressive the thing that i'm doing is a couple of things number one stand up we all know that number two get your weight back i'm so far back i'm sitting on the luggage i'm literally sitting on my luggage so far back so i've got the weight back the forks are up really helps right even so the bike is still squirreling around I'm doing about 55 miles an hour. I've mentioned this several times. Why do I do 55? Well, I find that that gives me a nice, I sort of float over a lot of the rough stuff. I'm looking for exit points where a car perhaps has cleared some of the gravel. And if I need to, if I really hit something squirrely, 55 means I can go up to 60, 65 and just kind of look, focus on the target, focus on what I want to get to and just it'll blow through whatever the soft stuff is and get me to where I need to be. So that's what I find. Any slower than that, the bike really is moving around. Faster, mm, I don't feel comfortable. 55 to me is a sweet spot. The other thing is um, when you hold your butt grips, you don't want to be holding them like straight on, crunch, right? Because you're going to end up with blisters and uh, calluses. So you sort of hold it, get that fat part of the, fi fat part of the hand on the grip so your, your hands are almost canted out you're not holding it like that you're holding it like that feels a little odd to road riders it took me a while to get used to it but it really helps take the pressure off the the handlebars punching on your uh, on your hands you come popping over a hill doing 55 and there's a turn right you don't even though I've got ABS I've got phenomenal ABS on the front I've got no ABS I've turned it off on the back off-road ABS you don't want to suddenly crank on the front brake, right? The front's going to dip straight into that gravel. You're going to have a bad day. So lean back, brake with the rear brake, but downshift. And I downshift pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm letting the back wheel almost skid and slide, right? And, and actually let the engine braking slow me down. So weight back, hands in the position, sitting right back, 55 mile an hour, what focus on where you want to be rather than the sketchy stuff you're about to hit accelerate through the soft stuff if you're feeling really quite uh, bold if you need to brake use the engine braking use the rear brake obviously you know uh, bra uh, brake with the front if you have to uh yeah i mean cornering is a whole different topic but uh yeah that was quite interesting as well but i'll we'll cover that at a later date all right guys hope this helps some of you safe riding all the best